Hey guys, welcome back to another beginner illustrator tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at how to round corners here in illustrator. And I'm going to show you also how to use the transform panel to scale your corners and give each one a pixel dimension. If you need a certain roundness to your corners. All right, let's hop in. So I've just got a square out here and you might notice when I click on it with the selection tool, I get these little dots that pop up. That's the corner widget and you can go up to the view drop down. And you're going to see show corner widget or hide corner widget. I have it shown right now. So it says hide. I can click and drag on these points to round my corners. Pretty simple, right? What if I just want to round one corner or a set of corners? Well, I actually need the direct selection tool for that. The shortcut key is a, I could click and drag on these two top points and do the same thing to just round those two top corners. Or I could just click on a single anchor point and round just that one corner. Now, what if I want to just give it all a 50 pixel roundness, right? Well, I can select this shape, open up my transform panel. It's going to be up in window down to transform. I actually have it docked over here on the right hand side. And you might notice this area down here in rectangle properties. I actually have some corner options. And if they're linked all together, I can just give this 50 pixels and it's going to create a roundness of 50 pixels on every single one of those corners. If I unlink them, I could always just put in zero on the right hand side and have 50 on the left hand side. And you'll notice my shape is responding accordingly round on the left, not round on the right. I can also change what this corner type is from round to inverted to camphor, chamfer, camphor. I, I don't know, but I could change to any one of those and it's still going to keep that 50 pixel -ness. Now, one more thing as I go backwards here to 50 pixels. So I got a 50 pixel roundness on each of these corners. But when I scale this shape right now, and I'm going to duplicate it out to show you the difference here. When I scale this shape down and I'm holding shift even to keep it proportional, that thing's becoming practically a circle. Look at that. That's because we don't have scale corners turned on in the transform panel. We have a scale corners checkbox. If we check that, these corners are actually going to scale with the shape. So they're going to keep in proportion with the shape. So now, even though that shape is smaller, it's still going to have the proportionally same roundness on the corners. So one shape here is more circular now because we didn't scale the corners. So those corners are still at 50 pixels each, but that shape is a lot smaller. So the proportion of those corners to the shape is a lot different. The other one, turn to that scale corners on and it scales the corners down with it. That's a thing that you need to know in your document because that's going to change the way a lot of things react to you scaling them up and down and you want to have control over what you're doing. Now, are you in CS6? I'm really sorry. It's time to upgrade, but there is one way that you can scale corners in CS6. If you don't see the corner widget at all, that's because you have an old version of Illustrator up in effect down to, I believe it's stylized. We actually have a round corners effect and we could do the same thing. We say, Hey, I want these corners to be rounded to 50 pixels. And we can actually preview that. If we hit tab, we can preview the roundness of those corners. We can hit. Okay. So now you have round corners on that object. Look, it's not the best way you really need to upgrade, but if you're in CS six, that's also how you round corners. If you guys have any questions about how to round corners here in illustrator that I didn't cover, hit me up in the comments down below. I hope this helped you even if you're a beginner or maybe something helped you because you were scaling corners and they weren't scaling right. And you didn't even know that was a feature here in illustrator. I'm Spencer from pixel and bracket. Thanks for watching and I'll see you. I don't know what this was, but I'll see you in the next one. Yes. Yes. We don't just have to guess. We can actually plug in our own pixels. Haha. <laughs> no. I recorded this once. We're going to redo it. Cool. Because I feel like I was confusing. Let's round some corners. <laughs>